This tool that Manjaro devs are working on called Data Donor has sparked a little bit of controversy, which we're going to talk about, but let's get into what Manjaro Data Donor is by reading through this form post here from one of the team members on the project. Roman GG posts, I worked the last few days on the new Manjaro project, Manjaro Data Donor, short form MDD. It is a way for us to gather a few statistics about Manjaro. The motivation for this to start was to improve our user counting. Until now, what has been done was counting systems via ping manjaro.org. These pings are sent from Manjaro systems via the network manager. There were some problems with this approach though. Individual systems were only distinguished by the basis of IP address. Matamo is a rather bulky tool and wasn't really made for system telemetry. And using network manager pings to check online status for user counting is acceptable, but is not what this was meant for, nor was it communicated as such. So I think it's better to be explicit and transparent about these types of things. So this isn't necessarily the controversial part. Instead, I wanna get into that, but I wanna first talk about why a tool like this can be important for developers. Because a lot of us don't wanna share our data and that's completely understandable, but it all depends on how it is collected. Reasons you can imagine that telemetry being collected from a user based on their system is to try and optimize for a better system. If developers can improve compatibility through Seeing what issues you come across using popular hardware, it allows them to allow for quicker fixes and reports just by collecting telemetry. It also gives them an idea on how to prioritize features and fixes. Sometimes, if you can gather statistics and telemetry, you can see what has the greatest impact on the user base and roll out things such as features and fixes more efficiently. Another reason is to optimize the user experience. Getting information about resolutions, desktop environments, package usage, all that fun stuff, helps change up the default experience and tailors software to meet most user preferences. Understanding system usage patterns is another good reason. Better debugging and feedback, including testing, especially seeing bugs and crashes occur in the real world, are all reasons why you may want to collect usage data and statistics. Not saying that that's what this Monjaro data donor is going to do, at least not gather all that type of information, but they did say accurate user counting, improve hardware insights, would be things that they focus on with this data donor. Anyways, breaking that down a little bit, I wanna talk about the controversial part here. It's not that they're introducing this new quote unquote simple Python script, which you can help debug today, but it comes in the next steps discussion. As a reminder, right now you'll have to install MDD manually and there is no systemd service yet. So it's still in development, but with the systemd service later in place, sending the hardware data with MDD will be opt out because I believe if you opt in, the data you gather will be so heavily skewed, you just can't leave it be. Let me know what you think. I know telemetry is a contentious subject, but we need to at least have some data about how Manjaro is being used by so many people around the world in order to show that the project has a future and also to plan for that future. And the controversial part is the opt-out nature. People are worried about the fact that this creates privacy concerns, transparency, and trust issues right after one of the major things being it's better to be explicit and transparent. Well, how is an opt-out feature explicit? It may be transparent, but I think that's what irks people a lot. The lack of active consent here, giving the perception of some kind of hidden tracking because you have to go out of your way, no matter how easy it is to actually stop these metrics from being gathered from your system. And this is definitely even supported by even the form admin here. While I understand your vantage, I firmly believe this should be an opt-in rather than an opt-out feature, even if it's only for ethical reasons. Furthermore, having any kind of telemetry enabled by default opt-out is, as you noted, a very contentious affair in this day and age, and especially so in the light of big tech companies like Google, Canonical, Meta, Facebook, and even Mozilla resorting to telemetry that is opt-out or doesn't even allow for opting out. This is a wonderful synopsis by Aragorn highlighting the issue of using the opt-out approach. While it might help developers collect more data, it risks alienating users who feel that their privacy is being invaded because their consent wasn't necessarily fully given, making this controversial. They go on to say, we've already had quite a few issues here in the forum over the last few years with members who wrongfully suspected that we already had telemetry enabled because of the ping. And from this experience, I firmly believe that having it enabled by default, even if only for new installs, not to mention pushing it onto existing installations, as well as via an update, will come around to bite us in the hind side quite quickly and quite ferociously. 
If anything, then past experiences have demonstrated that it doesn't take a whole lot. As a matter of fact, a storm in a teacup is already enough for Monjaro users to jump ship to droves and leave Monjaro to Arch proper, Endeavor OS, Garuda, or other similar distributions. I think this issue is worth serious contemplation, and especially so as Philom gave the members his word that my upcoming telemetry features in Manjaro would be opt-in only, which is also how KDE does it, by the way. So that's how the Manjaro data donor became such a contentious subject right off the bat. For those of you who are Manjaro users, what do you personally think? Should it be opt-in or opt-out? I'm going to leave it to you in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. And then anyone outside of Manjaro, what are your thoughts on opting in versus opting out? Do you see the developer side? Do you see the user side? I'd love to hear from you as well, but I'm going to give my thoughts real quick. I think this can be much less controversial by just clearing up some of the communication and explicitly asking the user with an opt-in model. It gives control of what data a person wants to share, which the Linux community is highly behind. So in my opinion, the opt-in model is the only one that makes sense here. I personally would not want to give my data to Manjaro if I was using it, and it would be a reason that I would perhaps switch to another just for the fact that I would feel slighted if I forgot to opt out. Anyways, love to hear from the community. If you haven't already, subscribe below. I know a lot of you enjoy watching the videos, but you don't necessarily get notifications from me. Support me by hitting the like button. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux, and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.